Today, three uses of the passive voice. The passive voice can be very useful to express certain things in English. Today, we are going to see three of the most interesting uses or situations in which we can use the passive voice. First situation, when we want to emphasize the action of the person that carries out that action. For example, if we take the active sentence, my friend has uploaded a new episode of Mr. P, we give relevance to the fact that it is my friend who has done the action. However, if we use the passive voice, a new episode of Mr. P has been uploaded by my friend, we highlight the action of the episode being uploaded. We can even omit my friend in the sentence. Second situation, when we don't know who does the action or when this information is not important. For example, if I say, my laptop was stolen yesterday, I don't know who stole it. And in the example, the exams have been corrected, it is obvious that the teacher is the person who did the action. So, it's not important information. Third situation, when we want to adopt a formal or neutral style, for example, in academic writing or in reports. Let's see a couple of examples of formal use of the passive voice. The experiment was completed by half of the students. I've been informed that the application to your course is still open. In summary, we can use the passive voice to emphasize the action of the person or object that does that action, when we don't know or aren't interested in who does the action, and to use a more formal and neutral register. I hope you have found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and thanks to Mr. P for dropping by. See you in next video. Bye bye.